Now, Pakistan's Prime Minister Imran Khan has called on the world to probe crimes against humanity in Indian occupied Jammu and Kashmir. In a video address to the United Nations General Assembly, Khan said the global body must ensure that Kashmiris get their right to self determination. This report has more details. Pakistan's Prime Minister Imran Khan highlighted the core issues of the region while addressing the 75th UN General Assembly session. Khan said India is being ruled by an extremist ideology which believes in the ethnic cleansing of minorities, especially Muslims. He said the Kashmir dispute has been rightly described as a nuclear flashpoint, adding that India has put a legislation in place to alter the demographics of the occupied valley. The Premier said this is a war crime under the Fourth Geneva Convention. Despite constant Indian provocations and ceasefire violations along the line of control and the working boundary targeting innocent civilians, Pakistan has exercised maximum restraint. We have consistently sensitized the world community about a false flag operation and another ill-conceived misadventure by India. I want to make it clear that any attempt by the fascist totalitarian RSS-led Indian government to aggress against Pakistan will be met by a nation that, that will fight for its freedom to the end. Referring to the Palestinian-Israeli conflict, the Prime Minister called for a two-state solution in line with UN resolutions. The Prime Minister said Pakistan played a vital role in Afghan peace process and expressed full support for ongoing talks in Doha. Pakistan fully facilitated the process that culminated in the U.S.-Taliban peace agreement on 29th February 2020. Pakistan is deeply gratified that it has fulfilled its part of the responsibility. The Afghan leaders must now seize this historic opportunity to achieve reconciliation. He said the coronavirus pandemic was an opportunity to bring humanity together, but it has instead fanned nationalism and given rise to racial and religious hatred and violence against vulnerable minorities in several places. The one country in the world today where I'm sad to say the state sponsors Islamophobia, and that is India. The reason behind this is the RSS ideology that unfortunately rules India today. This extremist ideology was founded in the 1920s. The RSS founding fathers were inspired by the Nazis and they adopted their concepts of racial purity and supremacy. While the Nazis hate was directed at the Jews, the RSS directs it towards the Muslims and to a lesser extent, the Christians. Prime Minister also urged the implementation of the Paris Accord to curb climate change. He said the UN should be made fully responsive to the challenges of contemporary times.